My name is Werner Utke Ramsey, and then I served on the carrier, two carriers, and I also got command of a destroyer. Well, I was on the admiral staff on a carrier and the operations, and uh, we were fueling destroyers at one time. And I said, we were on the cabinet, Admiral and I were on the bridge together, and I said, I sure would like to get command of one of those one day. He said, you would? <laughs> yeah. Well, about five months later, I got orders to destroy it. Um, it was, well, it was different. The personnel were different. A lot of, there were non-volunteers on the destroyer. Uh, it was a radar picket, so we had a lot of electronics. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful executive officer. This executive officer later became a California, part of the California legislature, I don't know, as a senator or whatever they have in California. But he was, a, became a, he was one of those. And uh, he ran the ship. He ran the ship. I guess got out of the way. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't nearly as pleasant because the damn thing rolled all the time. It rolled and it pitched and. Pitched. You get used to it, but in the submarine, I missed the submarines at that when we get into a big storm out there. Yeah, I missed that. And then I had certain shore duties. Um, I was in command of the Radiological Defense School in Pritchard Island, San Francisco. I was in command of the uh, Alameda Reserve Training Center, California. I was the head of the Relocation Center for the Bureau of the Navy, Blue Purse. I was in, and that was in Washington for two years. That was it. The reason I quit, because I was uh, Well, in the first place, I had, they said I was at the Pentagon in charge of the reserve plans section. And uh, they said, uh, it's time to go to sea again. And I said, no, not this time. This time I have 21 years in. And I wanted to get going in civilian life before I got too old, or before I got any older, I should say. And 